Raiders. You think so? The Timberwolves beat the Lakers 112 to 111 last night at Staples Center. Kobe Bryant had 24 points, was 8 of 24, and 3 from 13 from the three point line, 0 from 5 from the field in the fourth quarter. Here's Kobe after the game. That felt good. I mean, the shots didn't go down in the fourth quarter, but my health felt good, and, you know, that, that timing will come back. Um, like I said, I just haven't played in a minute, but it felt pretty good. Skip, what would you see from Kobe Bean? Molly, Stephen A., I, I must tell you, in the first half, I was very happy with what I saw from Kobe Bean Bryant. I liked the way he was moving. I liked the way his body looked. He, he had a freshness to him. He, he looked like he could still be a factor in the National Basketball Association. Crossed over a couple of T-Wolves dudes. Looked good. Look, look, you know, a little like the old Kobe, the great old Kobe, the younger Kobe. And then Stephen A., I, I cannot tell a lie, as the second half began to evolve, Kobe started falling back into the same old bad old patterns. Kobe Bryant last night in total wound up taking 24 shots. That's 10 more than any of his Laker teammates took. That's more than anybody took in any of the 14 NBA games last wow. night. That was the most shots attempted last night, 24 shots by Kobe Bryant. On contested three-point shots, Kobe went one for nine. When, when he tried to create his own shot, he was three for 16. On passes from teammates, when he was just a spot-up shooter, he went five for eight, pretty good. He had only one assist late in the game in the 31, um, that came with 31 seconds left. Lou Williams ended up taking the last shot of the game for the Lakers when they did have a chance to tie or win the game. Yep. And. I, I wasn't surprised because if you know the stat on Kobe, he has now missed, or up to, up to this moment, he has missed his last nine potential go-ahead shots with five seconds or left, uh, five seconds or less left in regulation or overtime. So Byron Scott wants Lou Williams to be the closer, the last shot taker. Big picture, it just didn't feel that good to me. I liked the way he looked. I didn't like the way he performed, the way he, his contribution to a Laker team that blew a lead and lost to a very, as we know, very young, inexperienced Timberwolves team. It, it didn't feel good to me in the end for Kobe's contribution to this, this team that, that a lot of people think has a shot at the eighth playoff spot, and I do not. Your thoughts? Well, you know, I don't believe they have a shot. Yep. That's number one. Number two, I would must I must tell you, I completely agree with you. I was not impressed with Kobe Bryant's performance last night. I thought he made some good shots in the first half. Um, obviously, struggled miserably in the second half. I did not blame Byron Scott for calling Louis Williams. Number he had 21 points on the evening. I think whether he shoot six or 14 from the field for the game. Uh, you know, it, it didn't bother me that Louis Williams got called for the last shot. Although, if you're going to take it to the basket, I would have preferred that yeah, it be Kobe instead of him. Yeah. If you were just going to shoot a perimeter shot, I would have said pick Louis Williams. Uh, overall, I think that, you know, once again, this is the Black Mamba. This is the league MVP and a five-time champion. It's just one game, and we understood that, you know, he didn't play too much last year or even the last two years, only 41 games in the last two years of a possible 164 regular season game. So we understand that. And, um, you know, obviously he'll feel himself out because he's forgotten more about the game of basketball in terms of what it takes to be successful than any of us will ever know. The flip side to it, however, is that the reason why I think it's apropos to say that we were disappointed is because one of the things they consistently rave about, Skip, when it comes to Kobe Bryant is his footwork. Yep. How, br how beautiful his footwork is and how elevated his basketball IQ is. What I'm starting to get tired of is this reliance on the jump shot when there are so many things that he can do. You watch Kobe take a quick step, get loose, and what have you. He has this ability to shake off and evade defenders. That means he can get to the basket more. That means he can get to the free throw line more. That means everything doesn't have to be a jump shot. And remember, only four of the 24 attempts that he made uh, last night were from inside. Yep. Everything else was a jump shot. 
I do understand that he's 37 and that the spring in his step no longer exists compared to what it used to be. He's still Kobe. He's still going to be great. I have no doubt about that. But I, he, is, he is too intelligent. He is too smart just to be shooting jump shots. He needs to get to the free throw line a little bit more and, 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 and get people off of him that way, too, because I think that that could ultimately open up his perimeter game even more if he start getting some cats in foul trouble. Yep. He's too smart for that. So, to me, I wasn't overly impressed with his performance in the second half. It was just one game. I'm not worried about him in the slightest so long as he's healthy. But I'm judging him by his standards. He could have been much better than what he was. You know, to your point, I wonder if in his 20th season, Kobe Bryant doesn't yet trust his body enough after the major injuries he's been through to take it to the rack. Is he avoiding contact? Because if you, if you drive the basketball, obviously, there's going to be lots of contact. Do you think he just doesn't trust or want to inflict that kind of contact on himself in his 20th year? I won't pretend to know the answer to that question. And when it comes to guys in the league that I actually talk to, I like to give them an opportunity to answer the question. Now, if I don't talk to you because I, we don't have that kind of relationship, but I can't get you on the phone, then I'll come up and I'll, you know, I'll project in my own way based on talking to other people. But for yep. people that I speak to directly, when I can just ask you the question and you'll answer it, I'd rather wait until I speak to Kobe to answer that question. What I will tell you, however, is this. I just know that his basketball IQ and his footwork are two of the things that he's loaded for the most. Yep. So when you consider that, there's no reason for him to rely on the jump shot as much as he does. Of course you use it in your repertoire. Of course it's a, a dominant presence in your repertoire because you're no longer 27 years of age. You're 37. We get that. But at the same time, I do think that he can get to the line a little bit more than he does as opposed to jacking up long-range shots. Speaking of jump shots, Ricky Rubio's look better. You guys can't contest that. Well, Ruby, Ricky Rubio was shockingly effective last night with 28 points, 14 mm -hmm. assists. I couldn't believe what I saw because I, I'm not that big of a Ricky Rubio fan. He's, you know, he can really, really pass. But I don't see anything else that I would trust him to do. I don't trust his jump shot, and I damn sure don't trust his defense. You know, he does, he makes the terrific passes uh, set for the highlight reels or whatever. But I happen to believe that Zach Levine is somebody that's on the verge of being very much better than he is eventually. I, I think that the upside is Zach Levine in the years to come as opposed to Ricky Rubio. I'm not that sold on Ricky Rubio, so I was surprised at how good he looked last night because never in a million years did I think that he would be hitting jump shots mm -hmm. and dropping 28 it points on anybody. 58 points. I was to, to, to Molly's I was very interesting point and mm -hmm. pertinent point that she made. Last night in the fourth quarter, Ricky Rubio made four out of five shots. Kobe Bryant, 0 for 5 in the fourth quarter. Oh, you guys are on Team Molly right yeah. now. I well, like one it. Well, was one of us. Well, one, of, one of us yeah. is. One of yeah. us is. I want to give props to uh, Sam Mitchell. Obviously, coaching in place of Flip Saunders. Mm -hmm. You know, yes. good, good, good job mm -hmm. by him last night. Mm -hmm. They came back to win that game. Lakers lost a 16 point lead, basically validating you and I, Skip, talking about how we can't see them making noise in the West. I mean, you couldn't beat Minnesota. Mm. We'll leave it there. Rematch in the works. Could it be true? Manny makes some interesting comments about another super fight with Floyd Mayweather. Hear what he had to say after the break. On the Hook is brought to you by Bass Pro Shops. Your adventure starts here. You think so. The Timberwolves beat the Lakers 112 to 111 last night at Staples Center. Kobe Bryant had 24 points, was 8 of 24, and 3 from 13 from the three point line, 0 from 5 from the field in the fourth quarter. Here's Kobe after the game. I felt good. I mean, the shots didn't go down in the fourth quarter, but my health felt good, and, you know, that, that timing will come back. Um, like I said, I just haven't played in a minute, but I feel pretty good. Skip, what did you see from Kobe Bean? Molly, Stephen A., I, I must tell you, in the first half, I was very happy with what I saw from Kobe Bean Bryant. I liked the way he was moving. I liked the way his body looked. He, he had a freshness to him. 
He, he looked like he could still be a factor in the National Basketball Association. Crossed over a couple of T-Wolves dudes. Looked good. Look, look, you know, a little like the old Kobe, the great old Kobe, the younger Kobe. And then Stephen A, I, I cannot tell a lie, as the second half began to evolve, Kobe started falling back into the same old bad old patterns. Kobe Bryant last night in total wound up taking 24 shots. That's 10 more than any of his Laker teammates took. That's more than anybody took in any of the 14 NBA games last wow. night. That was the most shots attempted last night, 24 shots by Kobe Bryant. On contested three-point shots, Kobe went one for nine. When, when he tried to create his own shot, he was three for 16. On passes from teammates, when he was just a spot-up shooter, he went five for eight, pretty good. He had only one assist late in the game in the 31, uh, that came with 31 seconds left. Lou Williams ended up taking the last shot of the game for the Lakers when they did have a chance to tie or win the game. Yep. And I, I wasn't surprised because if you know the stat on Kobe, he has now missed, or up to, up to this moment, he has missed his last nine potential go-ahead shots with five seconds or left, uh, five seconds or less left in regulation or overtime. So Byron Scott wants Lou Williams to be the closer, the last shot taker. Big picture, it just didn't feel that good to me. I liked the way he looked. I didn't like the way he performed, the way he, his contribution to a Laker team that blew a lead and lost to a very, as we know, very young, inexperienced Timberwolves team. It, it didn't feel good to me in the end for Kobe's contribution to this, this team that, that a lot of people think has a shot at the eighth playoff spot, and I do not. Your thoughts? Well, you know I don't believe they have a shot. Yeah. That's number 